So Melee Angel's quest is how you get the moon gold dust for crafting your special spellaments. Right, so just gonna check in the Beast Moon crafting anvil, see what they have. It is Test Realm, so they have a lot more in here than they normally do during the live Beast Moons. In addition to the treasure cards and the furniture, they also brought back the essences. And these increase your damage, accuracy, and, uh, and also your pip. And you cannot use them in PvP. Alright, so going over to the Beast Moon Seed Cultivator, see if they have anything new. Of course, you need to buy the recipe from uh, Acteon first. And they changed it to Battle Moon Seed for some reason. I'm not sure. It used to be Beast Moon Seed, now it says Battle Moon Seed. So they don't have anything new in there other than the Wolfen gear, the Wolfen cap, the wolf and mail, and the wolf and boots. And that's going to be quite a while before you can, uh, yeah, before you can craft the awesome glowy wolf and one. But I really do like the level two robe, the mail, because it has a little flappy cape on it with your school's logo, which is so cool. So it looks like they changed the uh, Beast Moon help a little bit. It looks a little bit different to me. Uh, maybe it's got more details. I didn't really read all the way through it. All I know is that it didn't particularly have seven pages before I thought, but it could be wrong. But I like that it tells you what all of the images and everything mean. Yeah, this is definitely a different looking um, reward tier. I'm pretty sure this is uh, not what is going to go in live because it gives you a gold idol. It says a plethora of Beast Moon idols, Lenari for your Beast Moon upgrades, Beast Form upgrades, and again, and again, and again, and it gives you 10 spellaments with that one, 10 spellaments with that one, and 10 more spellaments with that one, and then the pet at the end. It's still the same way. And it did take a while, but finally in here, I want to test out one of the new forms. Gonna test out the, oh, nope, pig is taken. But how about the Minotaur? Ooh, yay, life is available. I love that it looks like a statue to me. It looks like a bronze statue. The first boss is Beast Moon Seed, Hunter's Moonstone, Eldritch Thread, and Seven Lunari. So, round two start. And we defeated the second boss. This one has Hunter's Moonstone, Storm Moonstone, Balance Thread, and Stormwing Spellaments Recipe, you can tell by the book there, as well as 13 Lunari. didn't win that one, obviously. Well Alright, so turning in those Meliadris well quests, done, you get yeah. one Moon Gold Dust for the first boss and two Moon Gold Dust for the second boss. Alright, let's redeem these. What in the world is that? Oh my gosh, look at that. Beast Moon Idol and then 100 Beast Moon Idol. I'm guessing the 100 is the uh, regular and the 1 is the gold. That is crazy. It really, uh, I'm guessing it's like every single one of them. Because it got Ice, Croc, and it got, um, let's see, Rat, Colossus, Wolves. And it's still going Crocs, Fairies. Wow. So I'm guessing this is a new thing to help us test out the Beast Moon? Elves, Minotaur, more Colossus, more Elves. Oh my gosh, it just keeps going. 
wolves, cyclops, uh, draconian, minotaur, more draconians, pigs, crocs, more pigs, more fairies, more rats. Wow, it is just going on and on. Look at that. Woo! Still going, still going, still going. Still going. I mean, there's quite a lot of forms. Oh, and the maximum amount of Lunari. Invest your winning beast moon upgrades. Okay, apparently they want us to upgrade those beast forms and spend that Lunari because I'm just guessing here that all of those are going to be 5,000 Lunari. And that is the max amount, obviously, just now stated by Gamma. We have a lot of the uh, Hasty Harvest saved up and luckily full of energy. So I'm going to just go with as many of these as I can. Yep, I definitely think I should be scrolling this down so I can see. I think there's going to be a lot because they also gave us double XP and rewards. Oh, goodness. Look at that. Legend Golem. Hasty Harvest Treasure Card. Beast Moon Idols. Thread. Yep, Legend Golem. That one is a spellament. If it was the recipe for it, then they would have uh, given us the little book. And Ether Golem. All right, let's see what the Ice Moon Blossom gives us. Ooh, I see a Thieving Dragon Spellman's Recipe. Ooh, and now it says Naphtha instead of Naphtha, but the Scarab Spellaments. That one might also be a recipe. Again, the Beastoon Idols, the Thread, the uh, Battle Coins. And a Hasty Harvest Treasure Card. I don't see any of the spell treasure cards. Okay, so it was the Naphtha Scarab Spellman's Recipe. So let's see where they are in the recipes. I'm guessing they're going to be in the Reagents. Ah, uh, there they are. Naphtha Scarab, Stormwing, Thieving Dragon. So I already have like three of them. Okay, so that one needs a fire beetle to craft it. One moon gold dust and some uh, the minotaur idols, fire minotaur idols. Let's see, for the stormwing recipe, also needs one moon gold dust, needs uh, four of the wolf idols, but obviously I got tons of those already, and some thunderbird, one thunderbird treasure card. Thieving Dragon is one Frost Dragon, I believe. Four of the, I believe that's an Ice Colossus and one of the Moon Gold Dust. And the Balance Moon Blossom gives, ooh, I see Vermin Virtuoso Spellaments Recipe, uh, Naphtha Scarab uh, Spellament, and of course, as usual, the Thread and the Idol. Nice, nice. And as far as I can tell, it's every time it drops one, it's literally just one spellament. But that's okay. Right now, it's a better drop rate than, uh, you know, the key bosses. All right, so it said that you go to the basic crafting station. That's what it says on these recipes. But when I go to the basic crafting station, they're not available yet. There's absolutely no reagents that you can craft in here. Hmm. And so far when you are crafting reagents, you use that in the card crafting station. So, so far, I'm not sure how you craft these. It might be a glitch. And I logged out and turned it back on and still it's, uh, yeah, it's still the same thing. Basic crafting station is like some housing items and some snacks, and that's about it. 
Brian can use my hasty harvest on these and see what we get. So Balance Bloom gives... Ooh, I see two recipes. I see Infestation Recipe and an Elemental Golem Recipe. And so far it looks like that one is just Thread and Moonstones and Idols in addition to the Spellament Recipes. I'm hoping that my theory is that once you get the recipe, you they can't give it to you again and you'll just get Spellaments after that. Okay, so Elemental Golem Recipe is the Moon Gold Dust, some Balanced Cyclops, and the uh, Balance Golem uh, Franklin Stove. Let's see, Infestation is the Life uh, Colossus, it looks like. Not the Draconian, Life Colossus, and the Moon Gold Dust, and the Brown Spider Treasure Card. All right, for the elemental moon seed, that one gives, it looks like it's just moonstones and thread. And of course the battle coins. So the elemental ones don't give any of the spell elements. So that might be true for the spirit ones. But of course you do need the elemental seeds and the spirit seeds to get the ingredients for crafting the other ones. So the fire blossom gives, Let's see, Glacial Golem Spellament Recipe and some Elemental Golem Spellament. And I think that's it for that one. So I would definitely say the very first day that you're doing this, make sure that you are using like an elixir if you can to do double XP because if so, then you'll get these so much faster. And it doesn't look like it is, has anything to do with the one that you uh, harvested on what it is. So. For Glacial Golem, you need the Moon Gold Dust and the Fire Minotaur and also the uh, Fire Gut Treasure Card. All right, the Beast Moon Blossom gives, we got a Blood Bat Treasure Card and some Moonstones and Thread and Coins. And the Spirit Moon Blossom gives, Also, just moonstones and thread and the coins. And for the ice moon, I see a thermic golem spellaments recipe and another elemental golem spellament, in addition to idols and thread. And the thermic golem is the moon gold dust, the storm wolf idol, and um, the storm golem, the rocket stove. What? And Death Blossom gives. Ooh, Legend Golem Spellament Recipe and Legend Golem Spellament. In addition to Idols and Thread. And the Myth Blossom gives. Ooh, Ether Golem Spellament Recipe and another Legend Golem Spellament. of Beast Moon Idols, Threads, and Iron Curse Spellament. This is the eyes. I also got Thermic Golem. Now, so far, what it seems like to me is that when you are first harvesting these, it's kind of random which ones you get, but you get the recipes. And then once you have the recipe, you don't get it again. It's not like you're, you're getting it again in here. I need to get one last death spell. That's my problemo. So for test, I've just been going through a lot of these hasty harvests here. All right, and what do we get from this death moon blossom? Ooh, ooh, I see it. There it is, a dream golem spellaments. That is a recipe. So we got an ether golem uh, spellament. And you get your normal idols thread and Hasty Harvest. Now, I'm not seeing hardly any of the treasure cards anymore. Even in live, there aren't too many. But, one thing I will say is that I did get a treasure card for the uh, the Fire Beetle one. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you get the recipe. It says Spellaments, but it's a recipe. And it really doesn't matter where you get them. 
say for instance uh, the life seeds I didn't get any recipes from those but from ice I got recipe for an ice spell a fire spell a uh, golem spell I don't remember what so thermic golem uh, volcanic golem iron curse a thieving dragon and naphtha scarab all just from the ice blossom so it really doesn't matter which one it is that it gives you and you can go to your J button to see your spellament recipes and then click on the reagents that way you don't have to go through everything and there they all are don't forget there's two of them that are V's so they're after because everything else in here starts with transmute at least mine does and which one did we just get the dream golem that was the last one that I needed now I have every single one of the new spell spellaments I got the stormwing spellament recipe actually dropped from one of the bosses in the beast moon monster mayhem so it's not only from the seeds so you can see it's a very cheap in regards to reagents or ingredients that you need you only need one of the moon gold dust you need only four of the idols which if you've been gardening already then you have a billion already and then only one of the treasure card so it's not too bad i thought it was going to be a lot more i mean i can only do one more with hasty harvest so now that i don't have any more that i need with the uh the death let's harvest one and see what we get the rest i'm just gonna have to wait because it costs 10 every time if you have a whole lot of energy that's great but even that runs out. Alrighty, my last one for today is, what do we get, drum roll please? Ooh. Okay, so I see there is an infestation and legend golem. So it looks like you get one spellament like every single time. So that's pretty good actually. And this is only with the school seeds the uh, spirit blossoms the elemental blossoms and the beast moon blossom or whatever they want to call it uh, those still just give the stones the thread and uh, and the idols no just the stones and the thread really so from the death seed i got two life things i got the infestation and also the uh, golem that goes for life so there you go it's kind of random and that's not a bad thing and let's take a look at what we got over here obviously i've already learned the storm wing and if you weren't already aware by the little bug icon up here it's test realm still so still have the learn the storm wing and also the thermic golem and uh, if you start doing these beast moon seeds you're gonna have a lot of pages because that's 14 brand new spells that you can get spellaments for in addition to hammer of thor grendel's amends and red attack spin so yeah it's a lot it's a whole lot i don't even know how they put them in order honestly it's not alphabetical or whatever i have no idea so if you have already learned the spell as usual it is 75 spellaments to upgrade that and if you have not learned the spell well you just have to learn it <laughs> I should be looking at one of the other. There you go, 35. If it's something that you can't learn, like Hammer of Thor or Steel Pip only needs four. Celestial Intervention is 35. Spiritual Tribunal is also 35, etc., etc. So it goes from uh, 35 to learn it, then 75 to upgrade it, 115. And I don't know what comes after that because I've never upgraded them that far. So I think I probably got a spell in for every single one. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, no, there's only six. Let me see. Uh, balance ice oh I don't have the death I don't have the death golem yet do I nope like I said I don't know what order they put these in but anyhow uh, okay so and then one two three four five six um, yeah so I haven't got anything death dropped yet so I'm curious as to what the uh, percentages of things that you're going to get after you have already learned the recipe because luckily they're not going to drop it for you but that does say to me that uh yeah even if you do it on all of your wizards 
which is a better way to do with the beast moon seeds is having more wizards gardening it because you can only have three pots so or planters whatever you call them so there you go that's uh that's some good stuff and I just wanted to mention one more thing that I'm pretty sure this is not a realistic uh, look at how they're going to be doing the Beast Moon uh, rewards from now on because for five points you get 100 of each idol and then one gold idol of each one and 100 of each one. I mean, it was just, it was going and going and scrolling and scrolling. It was insane. And then every single one of these Lunari right here is 5,000. 5,000 Lunari every single time. So there's no way. No way. And then this one is 10. It just says 10 spellaments. This one says 10 elemental spellaments. This one says 10 spiritual spellaments. And then there's a thunder croc at the end. And it's only 46. No trade, no sell, no auction. Yeah. But anyhow, points are still the same. And I only did one match. And then obviously leveled up a ton of beast forms because, I mean, what are you going to do? Yeah, so yeah, let me see. It's five and then 50, 100. Okay, so that's fine because every day you level up your five. That's 50 points, right? Yeah, five, 10, 50, I think. <laughs> oh, gosh. Anyhow, yeah. And then, yeah, 275. Oh, okay. And then 350. 425. So they actually want you to work for these. Let me see. 10. 10. It would be nice if there was more, but whatever. And 10. And then a pet, if you really felt like doing that. Oh boy. Well, I thought I was doing good, and now I'm coughing again. So I'm going to say thank you for watching this video, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.